What's up you flips, it's Total Pro Master, and this is turn number 33 of this Poland Retrofit Hot Seat, and I can already tell you that this is the last episode, because we are going to win together with the Byzantine Empire. Uh, the rules for dual victory are having all the settlements of course that you need, so I need uh, I think Jerusalem, uh, he has Jerusalem, and he needs Rome and Jerusalem. And besides that, we also need 65 regions. He has 22. And I will have 43 at the end of this turn. Now, theoretically, I could win myself because I only needed two more settlements. But. I decided yes. not to do that. I'm gonna win together with him. These are all the spy actions that are needed to be done. We will resolve this one. Their fate is sealed, my lord. They are besieged. A crushing victory. They must be and I'll resolve this one. Actually, I think I need to fight this one, to be honest. And since it's the last battle we await your order to move in we shall Spider. not relent ever we march to our enemy doom. after we take Canada run together we'll have 65 regions which means the end of the hot seat and another victory for myself and again to I'm going to win together with Marob 307 a good mate of mine so that's always nice I suppose this now to be honest it was just a matter of time but yeah oh they don't have any gates over there by the holy lord above our spy has opened the gate yeah, so in there Missile troops are over there. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us. Spearmen. We can go get rid of Spearmen. You go fight your mount knights. Get up there, you stay over here. Oh no, not the spearmen, sorry, just a bit. You shoot at the spearmen. You fight at them. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, that went pretty well. The enemy general lies dead. That's we good. Sent the core we broke, help. let's go. This time the just fight them. Remains. I won't be needing these troops anymore. My lord, My lord we have lost control of the castle. From fire to flame, our okay, general lies that slain doesn't, doesn't upon the battlefield. I would be more careful if this wasn't the last battle. This is a clear Here we go. That goes to only men of great the last settlement that we need. <coughs> which means this is the end of this hot seat. Kair Morhen, not sure what his name that, is ours. Strength of course we are first everywhere except for finances for some reason. Well, the whole Roman Empire had only one more settlement that would actually fall the next turn if, I, if it was still. I can try and like, kill the air. Oops, it failed. 
But yeah, we have 43 settlements. Byzantium has 22, which together, of course, brings it up to 65, which is exactly how much we need. Um, we can go through some analytics, I guess. Statistics. Because this was the longest hot seat, of course, going on. The biggest one, I guess. So... Let's see, we had 8... Uh, no, that doesn't matter. We had, we won 59 battles. Lost 7. Uh, we have 43 regional score, of course. 25 cities, 18 castles. Uh, the factions that are still alive are myself, the Holy Roman Empire, Spain, Sicily, Byzantium, uh, Moors, Turks, and the Papal States. So eight in total, I think, and seven playable. So two, four, six, seven. Yes, seven played, eight. Uh, what's it called? In the game, of course, Mongols are still to come. I mean, if they would play longer, Timurids, Aztecs, but they haven't come yet because we were too fast. Um, greatest general was King Zbigniew, who is also our current leader. He's 76 years old. Where is he? Ah, this was him. Yeah, he's a really good general. Uh, let's go through this. <coughs> let's first go top 5. Uh, what am I doing? So the top 5 current factions were myself, uh, Byzantium, Who's this? Spain. That's Sicily. Yeah, Sicily. And the Turks. So basically the worst doing right now. The Holy Roman Empire and... Moors. Probably. Yes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's take a look now. The living factions. Yeah, they're, they're in there. Papal States, of course, just being down there. Um... Let's go for human factions, I guess, from the start. So, it's kind of hard to see, really, everything. We can check uh, how every faction was doing from start to finish. We're gonna start from behind, I guess. Let's start from Hungary. Hungary died around turn 15, I'd say. Let me try to remember what happened to them. Uh, oh, I, I remember. I think me and Byzantium were just eating them, I think. Portugal, I think, got killed by Spain pretty early on, at around turn 13. I think Denmark got killed very soon as well, yeah, that's turn 9, apparently. Uh, yeah. Egypt just died recently. Uh, I think it was actually regicide, if I'm not mistaken, from Byzantium. The Turks are still alive and kicking. They had a Pretty good time, but then they kind of started to, to fall down after I think Byzantium attacked them. Moors were just average the whole time. Uh, I defeated Russia at around turn what's that third 23, I suppose. Uh, Byzantium, of course, our co-victors. Uh, were they ever better than me? Except at the start, mm, maybe a bit over there, but I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, I also killed Scotland at... This shows awkwardly. Scotland didn't die on turn 33. But anyways, uh, Milan died on turn 32 or something like that, just a few turns ago, I think, from Sicily's hands. Sicily is probably the third, or f I think the fourth best, best faction right now. Yeah, just slightly behind Spain. Uh, they're starting slow, but I, thi I think after Romich took over, they kind of skyrocketed. Uh, Venice was doing alright, but then just kind of fell down. Uh, Spain was really up and down, apparently. Kind of. But it's the third best faction right now. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire. Also some ups and downs. But yeah, they're still alive, so you know. France got killed around turn 25, apparently. Uh, I'm not sure when... England die. I think I killed England around turn 30, and of course, myself doing pretty darn good. 
Thank you for everyone who's been with me with this journey. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it, to be honest. We do not um, and yep, thanks for watching. Hope, uh, thanks, of course, for everyone who's been playing in this. Uh, a lot of player changed, so I can't really say everyone. But right now, on top of my hand, Poland, of course, me. Holy Roman Empire is Dreamer. Spain is Greninja. Uh, Romich is Sicily. Marab is Byzantium. I think Lucky Boy is the Moors. Then the Turks is Lord Levin. But of course, uh, factions were changing the whole time. Only 10 already died, so yeah, that's it. Thank you for everyone who's been with me on this journey. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time.